Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to correctly gap a spark plug. And then we're just gonna be um, kind of giving you some reasons why your engine might be misfiring and you know the reasons why it might be the plug. And then we're gonna show you how to gap it. And then we're just gonna go over you know some quick spark plug basics and what a spark plug does. So this video isn't meant to be a comprehensive tutorial on combustion engines. It's just how to gap a spark plug correctly. So if you're curious on how a combustion engine works, then you know there's a lot of great tutorials out there that teach people exactly how combustion engines work. And it's a pretty fascinating topic if you ever wanna dig into it. But pretty much what the spark plug does is it ignites the air and fuel mixture inside your engine. It creates a little series of miniature explosions and that's what drives your piston. So that's pretty much the heart of your engine. So a spark plug is absolutely invaluable and making sure that it's gapped correctly is extremely, extremely important to a smooth running engine. So when I talk about spark plug gap, I'm talking about the distance between that electrode right there and then this arced electrode right here. That's what creates the spark from one end to the other. And that's, that's what ignites your air and fuel mixture. So we could just quickly, if you're curious, we could quickly go over what the actual components on a spark plug are. So you could see here, this piece right here, this is what our spark plug cap plugs into. That's called the terminal. This white piece is our insulator. And then this is the body or the shell of the spark plug. And then here, you can see this piece kind of twists. This is just a gasket, a metal gasket. These are the threads that go into the cylinder head. And then here, can't really make it out that great. But here we have the insulator tip and then Inside the insulator tip is our center electrode right here. That's the piece sticking up. That's our center electrode. And then we have our side electrode. And that's what the arc is. The arc goes from the center electrode to the side electrode. And that's what creates, that's what creates that combustion in your engine. Okay, so now you know what all the pieces of the spark plug are. And now we'll just go over what can happen if your spark plug gap is too big. So if you have too large of a gap in your spark plug, then what's gonna happen is this arc isn't gonna consistently jump from this to this. And when that happens, you're gonna have an engine that misfires or that rough idles, depending on how big that gap is. So that's gonna be a big reason why your engine is misfiring if that gap is too big. So if the gap is too small, then that arc might also not be strong enough to ignite the air and fuel mixture. And that's also gonna cause rough idling or your car could stall out. There's a whole, whole host of issues. So like I said, so here's our tool that we're gonna be using to get the correct gap in our spark plug. This is just a spark plug gap tool and I'll put a link in the description on where you could pick this up and you could see how this works. This end is tapered. This is the narrow end and then it tapers up. It gets thicker and thicker as you go around and then the values, you can see this right here, this side is in inches. If you're in the States, you're gonna be using the inches side. And then if you're in another country, it gives you millimeters on the other side. So you might be asking yourself, well, how am I supposed to know what the correct spark plug gap distance is, which is the distance between here and here. And that's something that you have to look up online based off of your tool, your engine. So this spark plug came out of an echo leaf blower an echo pb 200 and it took me about three seconds of looking online i just googled you know um 
Echo PB200 spark plug gap, and immediately it gave me the range. It's not an exact value, but it gave me the range so that the engine runs correctly, and that range is 0.024 to 0.026 inches. So all we have to do is take our tool, start off on the thin end because these values, the lowest value on this tool is 0.02 inches and the biggest value is 0.1 inches. So we know we're really close to that lowest value of 0.02. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tool. We know we're close to that 0.02 value on this tool. So we're gonna stick it in on this tapered down edge all the way here. And we're just gonna stick it into the gap. And then we're just gonna slide it until it won't slide any further. And then we're just gonna read out that reading. So you can see here, hopefully the camera's picking that up. We're at roughly 0 0.024, 0 0.025. So this plug would be considered gapped to within the manufacturer's specifications. So let's just say that this gap was, or you know what, let's say the gap was too small. So I'm just gonna push this down a little bit. Okay, so let's just say our gap is too small. And you can see here, the furthest it's gonna go is before 0 0.025, we're probably around 0 0.023. So if we wanna increase that gap, it's very easy to do. You just need to have kind of a gentle touch. You're just gonna to wanna to take this tool and just pry up ever so slightly on the electrode. And that's gonna open the gap And now you can see we're at about 0.026. We actually opened it up a little bit too high and we could open up even further to show you. So now we're at 0.035. So let's say we saw this, we knew our range and we said, okay, well, we need to, we need to decrease this gap. You could just take the spark plug and you could either tap it down on something to close that gap or you could just give it a gentle little press And that should close the gap up a little bit and then just recheck it. And you can see we're still, it closed a little, we're at 0 0.03. So we could close it a little bit more. We're just below 0 0.03. We could close it a little bit more. And then we're still just a little bit too big. So it's kind of a trial and error. So there, now you can see we're at 0 0.026. We're at the high end of this range. So we could go ahead and close it just a tiny bit more. And you might close it too much and have to reopen it a little bit. And if you do, you know, like right there, I just closed it all the way down. And if that's the case, you could just take a pair of needle nose and just gently pry it up a little bit. And it's kind of just trial and error. You just want it to be within that range. And that should do it right there. Okay, so right here, we're at 0 0.025. So that is perfect. That's right in the middle of our range. So we know our engine is gonna run smoothly. We're not gonna have any misfires. And it just helps to kind of weed out problems if you're working on a small engine and you're trying to figure out why it's not running. This is one of the first things you could check and you know, you at least know that your spark plug is gapped correctly or you could go out and buy a new plug. A lot of the new plugs, they come pre-gapped so you don't even have to mess with this. I mean, I recommend still checking it just to make sure that it's gapped correctly. Um, there's nothing wrong with double checking, you know, a manufacturer. So 
that is how you gap a spark plug to the recommended manufacturer settings. And if you guys have any questions at all, please reach out in the comments. Or if you're wondering what the correct gap size is for your, you know, whatever, for your leaf blower, for your lawnmower, for whatever, reach out in the comments and I will help you look up the correct spark plug gap size. And then also be sure to just check the link in the description where you can pick up this little gap tool. I'll put a link on where you can buy that. And yeah, guys, that pretty much does it on this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if this video helped you out. And yeah, guys, that pretty much does it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.